let me give you this example, the fear of the Lord. If I'm riding down the interstate, I'm riding down the interstate, and I may be going, it may be 55 through downtown Knoxville. Nobody's going 55. We're all going 70 through downtown Knoxville. We're just moving along. Everybody's doing it. So I justify myself. I see it's 55, but I'm in a hurry to get to Sam's Club and get back home. And, and so I'm going 50, uh, 55. No, no, I'm not going 55. I'm going 65, 70. After all, everybody's doing it. I'm just with the flow of traffic. But but if suddenly I become aware of the presence, the presence of a highway patrolman, just the presence of a highway patrolman, hallelujah, will suddenly jerk me out of my own world. Come on, are you hearing me right now? It'll suddenly bring me to a point where now in the presence of a highway patrolman, I adjust my lifestyle. And if the highway patrolman is around where he can see me, I don't care that everybody's doing it. Because it might be me that he sees. Come on, you hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, if we learn to live in the awareness of the presence of God. Come on, I said, oh, if we learn to live in the awareness of the presence of God, it will adjust our lifestyle. Yeah. Now, does, does that mean that I'm, I'm a legalist because I slow down when I see a highway patrolman? Now, I'll be honest with you, when I'm out of his presence, I may speed back up. But if that patrolman stays with me the whole time, hallelujah, I'm the best law-abiding citizen you've ever seen. <laughs> Come on, I'm preaching right now. Oh, how many know the Lord is with me all the time? Yeah. Come on, did he say, we always quote, I'll never leave you, never forsake you. We just always quote it from a comforting standpoint. But we need to learn that that means, that means, beloved, he's never leaving you. He's never forsaking you. He's watching that movie with you. He's looking at that stuff on your phone with you. He's absolutely fully aware of that cheating moment. He's absolutely fully aware of that time when, when you decided that what he said in his word didn't apply to you. Because Come on, I'm losing some amens, but I, I feel the Holy Spirit. I, hallelujah, I feel like old G.E. Patterson right now is about to quit, but the help showed up. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. God's looking for some people in the 21st century who will learn how to live in the fear of the Lord. 